Hello, I'm Dawn Tan. It's 11 a.m. in Singapore and Shanghai, 8.30 a.m. in New Delhi. And in the news now, tougher laws proposed in India to protect women from sexual violence as the trial for the five men accused of a brutal gang rape begins. Smita, the recommendations by former Chief Justice J.S. Verma pretty much call for a complete overhaul. How are they going to impact this trial in particular? Welcome back. Officials at the Pentagon say Defense Secretary Leon Panetta is to lift the ban that keeps American women from combat duty in the military. Now, the decision is expected to be formally announced by Mr. Panetta later tonight. Now, it's something Mr. Panetta... The U.S. believes Britain will be stronger if it remains part of the European Union and vice versa. And the comment followed British Prime Minister David Cameron promising a vote on whether the country should stay in the EU or leave. Now, in a key speech, he said he will renegotiate negotiate the UK's relationship with the EU, then put the choice to the people if his party wins the next general election. Channel News Asia's Ollie Barrett reports. It was without question the most important speech of David Cameron's life and it could have historic consequences. It is time for the British people to have their say. It is time for us to settle this question about Britain and Europe. Well, we are at Channel News Asia, London. This news just in. North Korea's KCNA news agency says it's proceeding with high-level nuclear test plans. Now, this is despite world powers telling it to rein in its nuclear and missile tests. UN Security Council expanded sanctions on Pyongyang. Now, UN Special Envoy Glyn Davies is urging North Korea to back down from further provocative actions. He's in Seoul for talks and will be traveling to China and Japan as well. Now, these countries and Russia are was pictured at the scene in a photograph that's making the rounds on Twitter. But the former England captain still hasn't chosen a new club, having left MLS side Los Angeles Galaxy at the end of last year. Like father, like son, hey? Now, on to golf, a seven under par round of 65, gave oh, showing a good touch with the putter to lead the field by one. They make it look really easy. Now, with stiff competition and rising expectations, Bollywood producers are going to great lengths to promote their films. One upcoming thriller has taken to the streets in dramatic fashion to raise the curiosity of the public. Channel News Asia's Avnit Aurora checks it out. Scenes like this took place at five major cities across India. But Mumbai, Lucknow, Ahmedabad, Hyderabad and Noida weren't under attack. Instead, the stage shootout was a so-called live trailer promoting the upcoming crime thriller Shootout at Vadala. Touted as one of the most expensive movie launches to date, the producers say they wanted to do something that would excite audiences. Avneet Arora for Channel News Asia in New Delhi. Only in Bollywood. And that's the news for now. Remember, we're always live on channelnewsasia.com. We'll begin today. Now, the specially set up fast track court will hear formal charges against the men, including rape, murder and robbery. Prosecutors are seeking the death penalty. A sixth suspect is being tried in a juvenile court. Now, this is the second straight annual deficit for Japan. And you're up to date with the headlines. You're watching Channel News Asia. Time now for a Singapore update. Health Minister Gan Kim Yong says elderly Singaporeans may face greater financial difficulties down the road if they're allowed to use up their Medisave without restrictions. Now, earlier the Workers' Party candidate for the Pungal East by-election, Li Li Lian, had suggested that the government do just that. Now, he said those facing financial difficulties for their health care needs can seek help through schemes such as the Medifund Silver, which is targeted at those 65 and above. Now, he added that elderly... Time now for a Singapore update. 
Health Minister Gun Kim Yong says elderly Singaporeans may face greater financial difficulties down the road if they're allowed to use up their Medisave without restrictions. Now, earlier the Workers' Party candidate for the Pungal East by-election, Li Li Lien, had suggested that the government do just that. Now, he said those facing financial difficulties for their health care needs can seek help through schemes, such as the Medifund Silver, which is targeted at those 65 and above. And that's your Singapore update. More on channelnewsasia.com.